all the bullshit that they put in that, it's some real things in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's some real things in there that you can actually apply to your life. Which, you know, I, when people say don't read the Bible, I'm not saying, why, why, why not? Right. Why not read it? Right. Why not see what it has to offer? Why not have an open mind? Okay, be able to cipher through all the bullshit and just take things out that you know are true and apply that to your life. Hey, Cam Hikes, man. We need to get on the episode. Uh oh. Soon. Let's get on the episode, man. Let's do it. Let's go. What's going on? St. Louis, how y'all doing this weekend? It's popping. It's popping. We still out here. It's still quarantine 2020. Yeah, coronavirus still out. Going on. Yeah. Please stay safe. Stay safe out there. Make sure you take the necessary cleansing precautions and everything like that. You know, um, yeah, man, just be safe. Yeah. Be safe. Y'all know what it is. What's going on? It's your uh, world's best podcast. Uh, I just play. I just play. Nah, no, go ahead and say that. Yeah, world's I'm best. Yeah. <laughs> um, Who's <laughs> talk podcast where things get deep and intellectual. Y'all know me. I'm your host, Artemis Caldwell, founder and CEO of Who Is Incorporated. As always, with me, join my best friend. Yeah, man. Co-host. Co-host. Oh, yeah, man. coach, man. Always happy to accompany my brother. Yeah. We're doing these things and we having these talks and out here and we just, you know what I'm saying? We just trying to, trying to, um, you know, bring some, bring some to our people, bring some yeah. to the community. You feel me? You know. So, yeah, man. We, we, today we're talking about men of principle. Okay. And uh, you know, like basically what. And I know, uh, what, what do you feel uh, uh, being a man of principle is? Yeah. A man of principle. Yeah. I would say a man of principle is somebody who, who he got like his mind together mm-hmm. and he follows a certain code or creed that right. is applied, that may be applied just to himself, you know what I'm saying? But it's just a certain line he won't cross and things he won't do. Man of principle is somebody who knows himself. You know, he got standards. I say it a lot, a man that don't stand for something fall for anything. Right. Yeah. Right. So I believe that. Okay. And yeah, we, we, we I believe me and you kinda got the same uh well, similar takes on that. Uh, my part take on just being a man of principle is somebody who um it's just certain values and just certain things that you live by. And these things that you live by, you consciously live by them so that they benefit your life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you got all types of principles, man. You come up with your own principles. But there are principles that have been around, um, you know, since the beginning of time. What I forgot what, what, what you call that term? Something that's just been around cliche or something like that cliche, cliches yeah, yeah, yeah. you know um but well, those things are real yeah, yeah. those things are why there's a reason why they uh cliche you know what I'm saying yeah. uh, so what's your definition of man being a man just having certain rules guidelines and boundaries that you follow and apply in your life and you don't deviate from these things. It's something that's, it's uncompromisable. It's, you know, you, you can't you can't compromise on this. Because this is what I live by. This is me, this is who I am. And this is what I built myself on. So I'm not going to compromise my foundation. So okay. that's what I believe, you know, my, my, that's my definition of uh, man and principle. Or just have a principle. I try to say at, at like not at every point in my life but I'm trying to get to that point at every point in my life where I'm asking myself right now are my are my actions aligning with my goals and my values you know what I'm saying that way I kind of stay on course right you know okay okay and and yeah the same thing um like 
I believe that I'm a firm believer of, well, I, I, I'm coming into this belief and I'm seeing how it's affecting my life. Um, but your thoughts become your words, your words become your actions, your actions become your habits, your habits become your character, and your character is your destiny. Um, I got that from my man Eddie Fuse, go look him up. Um, shout out, shout out, man. Yes, sir. Um, but I, I, I'm really starting to like, uh, you know, kind of see how these things are playing out in my life as I apply them. And I've been reading the book, uh, Working With The Law by Raymond Hollywood, which I recommend, you know, just go read the book, man. Just go read the book. If it's what something, it? it's called Working With The Law, The 11 Truth Principles to Successful Living. I know we got a lot of self-help books out there and everything, but um, from my opinion, this book, it lays out literally a foundation of things that, you know, once you repeat, once you repetitively read this book, like I read this book every day. I've been reading it every day since January 1st. How long is it? Like, it's a pretty lengthy book. It's not really a lengthy book. Um, now I got the ebook. I don't know how many pages the hard copy is. But I mean, I, I read for 30 minutes, maybe an hour a day, and I'm done with the book in a week. Okay. So it's not really, you know, if you read it every day for about 30 minutes, you'll be done with the book in a week, and then you just start that process over and over. So that's what I've been doing for uh, ever since January 1st. I guess that was like, uh, cause I, and I, I didn't think of it as like, okay, this is my New Year's resolution. I just thought of it as, okay, yeah, I just want to be better, and I know that repetition, and even if it's one small change, just doing something different, you know what I'm saying? Um, definition of insanity is keep is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You got to do, even if it's just one little thing, do something different, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I've been doing since January 1st, uh, 2020. I've been doing that every day. I've been reading this and talking about reading. Uh, shout out to Cameron Heights, man. Uh, let me use this book called The Art of War. And it's a piece in there that talks about your, you cannot use the same war tactics. <laughs> you can't use the same war tactics for every war you go into. Your plan gotta be adapted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It has to be able to be um, more so adjustable. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be able to, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Make changes yeah. in the plan at the drop of a hat, like coronavirus, for example. Boom. And still have to adjust to it and still have to overcome it, beat it. You got it. Yeah. yeah. Everybody had to make changes somehow, yeah. some way, shape, or form. And whatever you did with this whole pandemic, this thing is worldwide. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like everybody in the world. They had to, you know, make changes, adjust. And we see how easy it can be done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This thing can be done overnight. Literally, this shit happened overnight. overnight. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Talk about that. Overnight. What really happened? <laughs> yeah, you feel really. me? And it's like now, so you talk a lot about what I'm hearing is routine. You know what I'm saying? You practice and you practicing this at least one time a day, or excuse me, 30 minutes to an hour a day. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And and you and, and you're seeing results. You know what I'm saying? And not even yes. just and you're seeing the actual definition of what the book is saying. You know what I'm saying? You just said that you're seeing how uh excuse me, you're seeing how the uh words are playing into effect. Uh, actually manifesting what it is that you want to talk about, you know what I'm saying, or excuse me, be about, you know what I'm saying, so that's where it's like, okay, huh, well, well what about routine, and that's also discipline too, yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we gonna get into both of them, but just first and first off, routine, what is that, repeating to read the book, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. why is you, well, what, what, what do you find it beneficial in that? So, this is what I find beneficial. Um, every time, and I, well, actually, I'm, I'm not even going to say this. Consistently reading the book over time, I start to notice things in the book 
that I didn't notice before. Okay. And what I found out later on is that the book didn't change. Changes are being made in you. Okay. So I'm noticing yeah, yeah. small changes, whether it be in my emotional state or in my thoughts, how I think, but me recognizing certain parts of the book that I didn't recognize before is showing the change on my part. It may be a small change. It may not have a big outward change yet. But if I carry on on this path, then there's going to be the, the, the uh, material manifest manifestation. You know what I'm saying? That's what the law of attraction is. It's not so much thinking. You feel me? Um, you have what's called the law of thinking. And if you read the book, Working With The Law, you'll read about the law of thinking in this book. But um, the law of thinking is just more training your thoughts to work with your words and your actions. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But from there, when you when you, when people try to apply the law of attraction, it, it, it's really expectation. Right? Right. And expectation is more so... Um, it's like it, 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 it's it's something that you feel, it's something that comes from inside. Like when you say um, when, when something happens in your life and you're like, man, I expected this to happen. You know what I'm saying? I expected this to happen. Or even things that you don't, don't that you don't want to. You know what I'm saying? People unconsciously expect a lot of things in their lives that they don't want. Right? And that's by not applying the law of thinking. You have to have the correct thinking to change your words and your actions. Or you can start with your actions or you can start with your words. You know what I'm saying? But it has to be a change somewhere. You feel me? Right, right, yeah. And then just going back to the law of attraction, um, it's really expectation. And expectation is that, that, that feeling that you get that you know something is about to happen. You know this is going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, and really to, to, to you got to build your expectation and you got to do that by um, interest you read about this in the book too interest yeah. interest okay. attention okay. and desire mm -hmm. no 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 it was attention interest attention and expectation but uh, desire is in that Right. Okay. Okay. Desire plays in that. But um, yeah, you read about that in the book. If you want something, you have to be interested in it. Then you have to give what you're interested in that attention, right? Whatever attention it may be. You know what I'm saying? It could be, I'm trying to sell my house. Okay. What do I have to do to sell my house? So, okay, selling my house is the interest. Okay, what do I have to do to prepare myself to sell the house, right? I gotta clean it out. You know what I'm saying? If I wanna put it on the market, I wanna make it look good, I'm gonna set the furniture up next. I might stage it. Do whatever you gotta do. You play out that process and in those actions and you completing those goals, your expectation becomes higher and higher and higher, then boom, you got the go. And it's not like, the way you hear it on YouTube and everything, people make it seem like magic. It's not magic. It's intentional progress, right? I'm gonna just put it like that, intentional progress. You're intentionally going towards something. You're intentionally moving towards something or intentionally moving forward. That's the law of success, you know what I'm saying? You can't have success being stagnated. You can only have success moving forward. You know what I'm saying? If you apply the law of resistance, I mean non-resistance, you will get around all of the ob obstacles that come when trying to obtain that goal. Because that's, that that's like saying when you ask for rain, you be prepared for mud. Right. So, in case, so to be ready for that, you put on rain boots. Yeah. You still pray for rain. Yeah. Oh. And this, um, and talking about the law of attraction, a lot of people I would say don't know is. You gotta think about what you what you willing to give up because it's a give and take as well. A sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? So okay, if I want a Range Rover, I have to work harder. You know what I'm saying? I gotta spend more time making money mm -hmm. or 
or you, or you might just it might not even it be that. Not, it, you go ahead. I'm sorry. Really, we the law of sacrifice is like whatever desire that you have, you will know inside that um you will just know that um you know what I'm saying. You know from inside with inside yourself that uh this is what you desire. You know what I'm saying? And just and, and, and just moving forward. I'm sorry, I had a little brain. I know you're good, you're good. You're good. But um I was talking about the law of sacrifice. Um like sacrificing something could be you will know inside what that is, what it should be, what the cost should be. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You have to be willing to pay the cost to get to where you want to go or to obtain what you want. Okay. So when you apply that, you know, usually the faster it comes. And, and, and the more that you're expecting to get, And then speaking about prayer, um, prayer is prayer and praise. You know what I'm saying? It's called the law of increase. Um, if you apply, if you pray for something, you, you, you ask God for something, and then and then praise Him and give Him the glory that you want. You know what I'm saying? You know, we, we in church, we, we're taught to give God the glory. You know what I'm saying? That that still applies in the spiritual realm. You know what I'm saying? Even for those people who don't go to church, I'm not a church goer myself. But within all the bullshit that they put in that, it's some real things in there. You know what I'm saying? It's some real things in there that you can actually apply to your life. Which, you know, I... When people say don't read the Bible, I'm not saying why 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 not? Right. Why not read it? Right. Why not see what it has to offer? Why not have an open mind? Okay. Be able to cipher through all the bullshit and just take things out that you know are true and apply that to your life. That's how you can utilize the Bible. But don't just Say and I ain't trying to be no Bible thumper or nothing like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But don't just don't just write it off. Like, hey, don't read the Bible. It's got all this, you know, this, this, and that in it, and everything like that. Why are you trying to hold people back from some potential information that they can interpret for themselves and use for their own growth? There you go. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm not saying everything in the Bible is good. Yeah, you just can't. You know what I'm saying? You can't just write it off. Just because of that. Just because, you know what I'm saying? For whatever reason, you may want to write it off. You know what I'm saying? I'd be open to reading all of the religious books. I'd be open to reading the Bible, the Quran, which, you know what I'm saying? I've read parts of the Bible before. But uh, I'd be open to reading the Quran. Um, I don't know the name for the book that the Hindus and the Buddhists use. Or whatever the name that book is, someone can you know tell me, leave it in the comments. <laughs> tell me what that book is. But uh yeah. But essentially, so to all those is love and the love and understanding is what you need. You know what I'm saying? The, and like understanding those like two principles for real for real is the like the key to heaven or the sword. Not to the key to Happiness, you know what I mean. See, look, me, so, me personally, I believe you can gain something out of everything that you come into contact with. Yeah. Life. Take everything with a grain, uh, with a grain of salt. Yeah, yeah exactly. everything. You know what I'm saying? You can gain something from it, even if it doesn't feel like it. Yeah. You learn something. You learn what not to do. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, just valuing it. Put more value on your thoughts and your words and your actions is like 
that that's a that's that's a major key to having success in whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Just like you said, your actions have to line up with your goals. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want? What do you want in life? And are you doing the things that's going to enable you to get that goal? Just to wrap everything up, man. One, as a young man, what's give me some a principle or a value that I myself should follow that help that helped you out. What advice you got for me as a young man? As a young man, I would say truth and honesty, right? And I'm coming from a standpoint of a guy who wasn't so truthful in his past. Um, I would say truth and honesty is a principle that you should live by because when you live by truth, you get truth. There you go. When you live by truth, that's what you get. But when you live by lies, then you that's what you get out of life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I was living by, you know, my own lies and doing things, whatever I was doing back in the past, and you know what I'm saying? Just you feel me? Okay. You know, all the mistakes I made, we all make mistakes, but any mistakes we make in the past, you know what I'm saying, we should learn from them. We should, we should take, that's the word I wanted to use, was conventional wisdom. Conventional wisdom? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I heard that from, I got that from my man, Eddie that time. But uh, conventional wisdom, like we should take heed to these things. Like some of these things are here because they've always been true and will always be true. Why not follow them? There you go. Okay. Huh. Huh. All right. Mine, I say, would be commit. Mm -hmm. Commit, commit, commit. Yeah. It's something That's about if you, it's something about working, like working hard through something. You know what I'm saying? A quote I like to use is tough times never last, but tough people do. That's Brown. You know? Yeah. I like that, man. Yeah. That's all I got. Yeah. I got. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> well. I mean, I could ramble on some more, but shit, you know. Well, <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back. Me and the principal part two. Coming yeah, soon. Coming soon. <laughs> All right, y'all. Oh. What? Never mind, never mind. You got it? What's up? Nah, nah, nah. Get back. Tease it? Nah. Nah, I'll talk to you. <laughs> All right. Well, y'all right. know me. Artemis Caldwell. Gabe. CEO. Gabe. Yep, Gabe Coach. <laughs> Co-host. You know, we're doing our thing. Yeah, so Who's Talk do. Podcast. Who's Talk? Where conversations get deeper intellectual. Yes, sir. All right.